There are so many ways to wear a suit. I embrace people customizing their looks for themselves. I'm not a big fan of restrictive rules, telling people what not to wear. In this video, I'm taking a look at the suits worn by Patrick Jane, the main character in the TV show, The Mentalist. He definitely has his own signature style, and in my opinion, it works well. He always wears a three-piece suit, often with an odd vest, meaning a mismatched vest from another suit, and an unstructured shirt with an open collar and no necktie. The leading style journalist, Simon Crompton, of the blog Permanent Style, mentioned in one of his articles that he finds this look objectionable. Though I respect him greatly, so much that I have several of his excellent books, I totally disagree with him on this one. Welcome back to For the Love of Suits. If you're new here, we find inspiration on how to dress well from the best dressed men on the screen. I think it's an excellent way to dress down a suit. It's a great bridge between the respectability of the suit and the approachability of the open collar. It's like unfolded arms, a sartorial version of a welcoming hug. Obviously, I think that, as I frequently dress in a similar fashion myself. Jane has quite a strict diet of blue and grey suits, though he owns many shades of each and mixes and matches them well. Here he wears a grey two-piece suit with a navy vest from another suit. We'll probably see him wear that navy suit with a grey vest in another episode. If you have several suits, it's a good idea to extend your wardrobe by swapping out the elements if they work well together. The Italians call it spizzato, and he wears a soft collared white shirt. Personally, I find his collar a bit too soft and floppy, but that's his style. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button. It helps bring this video to other menswear enthusiasts. On the beach, he has donned a lighter grey suit and a lighter grey vest, but he still retains the same blue-grey mix. He's wearing a nice denim or possibly chambray shirt, but this time I think the soft collar works well. The jacket is a casual suit with patch pockets, but I do not recommend sticking your hands in your pockets in this manner. It will stretch and disfigure the jacket quite quickly. And when the temperature gets too hot, he can remove his jacket and just go with the vest as an outer garment. I can tell you though from experience, if things get very hot or humid, you're better off losing the vest and wearing the jacket. Clothes tight in the skin will cause you to sweat more. He has a monochrome or tone-on-tone -tone look. He's a bit fresher and lighter than his full suit look, but he has chosen different tones of blue for each of the garments from the pants to the shirt. The two breast pockets on the vest make it more casual. The more pockets or details you have in a suit, the less formal it is. I'm really pleased the small growing community we have here, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll keep the videos coming. Worth noting is the fabric his suits are made from. Assuming it's a fairly hot climate he lives in, California, his suits are made of tropical weight fabrics but not high twist fabrics. This means that the fabric will be light and breathable, which is great for the heat. Unlike high twist fabrics like Fresco, they will not drape or hang very well. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but it does give his suits a very soft casual look and this can't be avoided. I feel his suit lapels are a little narrow and could do with an extra centimeter or two. And as I mentioned before, his soft shirt collars are a little untidy for my personal taste. But that is the point. He should dress in a way that expresses his personality, and if for nothing else, I think it's a great affirmation of the flexibility of the modern suit. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll catch you in the next video.